Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Uh, let's talk about uh, pressure with depth, and specifically let's talk about the uh, deepest known point in the ocean, which is called the Marianas Trench. And this thing is a depth of 10.911 kilometers, okay? That's the depth D, and we can rewrite that as 10.9 times 10 to the 3 meters. Okay, so that's SI units. Now, if we think about the Marianas Trench, here's the ocean, ocean floor goes like this, comes down to some very deep spot. It's at a depth D. Let's think about the pressure down there at the bottom. So, pressure, of course, is the weight of everything that's up above you, right? If you're standing up here at the ocean, then it's atmospheric pressure because you have one atmosphere above you. But as you go underwater, you start to pile, pile more water above you, and it's that weight pushing down on you that increases the pressure. Okay, so what is pressure in terms of depth? Pressure P at some depth is P naught plus rho G D. Rho is the density of water. G is gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared. D is the distance down underneath the water. All right, so we should be able to calculate this. Pressure at the atmosphere is one atmosphere. One atmosphere is one times 10 to the five pascals. And now we have to add rho GH. Rho, we said, was a thousand kilograms per cubic meter. G is, of course, 9.8 meters per second squared. And D is this distance D that we just wrote down, 10.9 times 10 to the 3 meters. Okay, and now you can run all these numbers in your calculator and double check me, but I got. 1.07 times 10 to the 8 pascals. And if you convert that back to atmospheres, you just have to divide by 10 to the 5. And so this becomes 1.07 times 10 to the 3 atmospheres. Okay, 1.07 times 10 to the 3. That's a thousand atmospheres. So how much pressure is down there? A thousand times the pressure at the surface. And that's a lot. All right, hopefully that's clear. If not, come see me in my office. Cheers. <laughs>